Good morning, Stinger Squad, and welcome to the 21st of April edition of your English class. Hey, this week we've got some exciting things going on. I wanted to let you know um, this is actually out on Google Classroom for you now. And the topic for this week is a short story titled Three Skeleton Key. Uh, it's by a guy by the name of George Todo. Uh, his name is spelled kind of oddly, as you'll notice once you start getting in there. And I've probably butchered his, his last name, but... Unfortunately, um, again, I, I've never heard his name pronounced, so I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can with some French that I took years ago. Anyway, I wanted to let you know uh, it is available for you on, on Google Classroom. Now, this particular short story is just slam-packed with sh foreshadowing. Now, I want you to think back several, several, it's been a couple of months since we went over foreshadowing. But again, foreshadowing is where an author... Uh, puts these clues into their short story about things that's going to be happening next uh, as you as you read along through the short story. Again, it's what's going to be the the author gives you clues about what's going to happen later in the story uh, prior to you ever getting there. Now, for this week's assignment, you're going to see on Google Classroom there's there are five things that, uh, out there for you to complete, and I need really need you to complete them in this order. And let me tell you why. Again, by doing them in this order. It's going to give you some understanding uh, of, the, of the short story before you ever get there. Now, just to give you a little overview, it's about a couple of guys out. They're lighthouse keepers out in the middle of, of a bay, and they're out on the island by themselves. Now, first thing I need you to do is to review the Three Skeleton Key Google Slide presentation. Now, this is actually going to give you background information about why these guys are out there as lighthouse keepers and what their job is and 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 kind of the, the the regular schedule for a lighthouse keeper. Now the second thing I need you to do is to review a PowerPoint on lighthouses. Now that's also going to give you a little bit of pre-knowledge before you ever go and read your short story. It's going to give you again some understanding of what lighthouses do and and why they're out there uh, if you've never been to one. It'll also show you what they look like. Then, the third thing I want you to do is actually read the short story. Uh, again, it's titled Three Skeleton Key. Now, as you're, lo as you're reading through that, there's some vocabulary uh, that I need you to pick up on, and it will be annotated in the short story. And you can look either over on the, at, the, at the side in the margin or down below the short story about what each of those vocabulary words mean and try to put those into context as you're, as you're reading it through. Now, <clears throat> so those are the first three things that I need you to do. Again, you, you go ahead, you review the three skeleton key presentation. Then you review the presentation on lighthouses, then read the short story. Those are the first three things. Now, the fourth thing I want you to do is going to give you some pre-knowledge to what you are going to be doing for your project. Now, the fourth thing I want you to do is to review a PowerPoint on newspapers. It's going to give you background about what a newspaper is, why they make newspapers, how they're used, and some of the processes that are gone through uh, when, when they're creating a newspaper. Now, finally, this is all leading up to your fifth thing, and here's what I want you to do. You're actually going to create your own newspaper. Now, again, uh, it's not going to be the length of a newspaper. In fact, it's going to be a much scaled-down model, and I've got directions for you there. You're going to take on the two roles. First, you're going to take on the role of a newspaper reporter, and then uh, the next thing you're going to do is going to take on the role of the editor. Now, the editor, again, is going to be looking for punctuation and organization and everything like that within the writing. Now, all of the specific instructions on your project are out there for you on Google Classroom. Now, when you are getting ready to, to create your final project, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do a Google Doc which is perfectly fine. You guys are experienced with doing that. You can add pictures in there, all of those kinds of things. So you can do it on a Google Doc and submit your work, or you can handwrite it out and do it by hand, and that's perfectly fine as well. You know, create sketches for your, for your pictures and things like that. Again, perfectly fine. Now, if you choose to do the handwritten uh, version, I do need you to take, go ahead and take a picture, and you'll submit that picture on Google Classroom. Again, if it's not on Google Classroom, it's tough for me to give you guys feedback. Google Classroom allows us a place to, to interact and, and to communicate back and forth.
Now, if you have any questions, again, hit me up on Remind. Text me on there. Uh, again, if you're not on Remind yet, please get that. If you have a smartphone uh, or, or a computer, it's a free add-on from uh, the Chrome store. If, you know, if you're familiar with Google Chrome, it, it uh, allows you to add on um, that, that particular Remind app. Anyway, again, it's free, and it allows you and I to, to text back and forth if you have questions. I'm also available on email. Uh, I hope everything goes well for you. Have a wonderful day.